Hello everybody and welcome. I'm going to present you today a personal alarm system, a review and what we can do about it. So let's get started. Just a little first bit. Thing first, we're going to open this plastic thingy, which is very hard. I'm going to take it apart and we're going to have a closer look. All right, friends, so we have this alarm system, a mini portable alarm system. This one, it, as it says on the, on the specs, is um, complete with the 110 decibel siren portable PR alarm system pull pin this one means to activate the alarm PR motion sensor up to 2 meter detection range it's got an LED built in it's got this case as well which is slides very nice and easy and I'm guessing here is the speaker you know for this one we're gonna try to make something but first we have to uh, look inside of it how it works if we, we can tap into the, the alarm system as well all right first thing first this comes with the three uh, batteries which are included as you can see here these are three LR44 batteries inside here we're gonna pull this plastic thingy apart and we're gonna have a closer look so three batteries let's see What's the voltage of these batteries? To see what's the voltage of these batteries, I'm guessing is 1.5 volts, but which you don't have to trust me on this one. So it's 1.5. All right. So 1.5 batteries, three of them. We're gonna measure uh, straight away. Three of them should give us yeah 4.6. 4.6 so I'm guessing with the lithium ion cell is gonna work just fine all right we're gonna put back the cover and now let's taste the features okay first he says it's got an LED light yeah it's working it's got uh, this wristband you can see it you can put it on your wrist to not lose it yeah so it's there this one is the PR motion sensor which is quite good for various projects it's got here an off and auto function all right we're gonna test it soon and it's got this pull pin to see oh, I'm guessing this one if you're gonna pull it off it's gonna trigger the alarm all right so let's test it in a real life situation all right friends let's test it out to see how loud it is so ready three two one all right it's pretty loud man 110 decibels all right then works just fine but i think the the pin is not uh, pulling off all the way through just a little bit you know just a, a little bit is going on all right let's test the pr motion sensor the thing is there so we're gonna try to approach Oops, ah, ah, that's it. It's working as it all right friends so he's working the PR motion as well. It's got a little bit delay, but nonetheless is working, you know, so now it's in off section. One more time, I think. So yeah, this is a neat device. You can have it as a personal alarm system, as a, a keychain, you can put it on or you can convert it into the proper home alarm system. But for this one, we have to take it apart to see what's inside and if we can hook up to this uh, personal alarm system, neat, compact, and 110 decibels all right so let's dive inside the thing and see what we can let's dive find. into the thing and see what we can find inside of it all right let's get started all right we're going to proceed first by removing the back cover we're going to remove the, the batteries first three of them like i told you 4.6 volts which it should okay and then we got like one two three and four screws Let's try this one. Find another tip. That one was kind of shady. So we're gonna remove all the screws. Now, my friends, we have removed the screws. Four of them. This one doesn't want to go out. Now, let's try to open the case. Here you go. Nice and easy. As you can see, oh, 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 something is falling. 
Here you go. This is it inside the finger. Here you go, inside the finger. Here you go. Yeah, that's better. Okay, doggy friends. Here it is inside the thing. This is the power going in. Yeah, so we said that. That power in, yeah. We're gonna take it like power in equal to 4.6 volts. All right, we have the speaker here attached. This is the, the trigger one. As you can see, is a, is a plain switch like this one, which goes up and down, but is attached to this thingy. Let's try to take it apart. Yeah, it's well glued to the thing, but we can see here we got another tiny screw. We're gonna take this one apart as well. And I think there's nothing else holding this board. So we're gonna try to take it out. Maybe there's another one. Let's have a closer look. Oh, that should be it. There you go. We managed to take it apart. The wire, the thingy, the switch. This is for the light. And this is for the PR motion sensor, which is kind of block of this capacitor. All right, it should be like so. Mm, we can tap him. in is into this speaker to measure to see the output or we can replace it and then we can power something else out here this is the only thing we can tap in then we can change the power supply as well but the rest is just switches you know plain one so we're not gonna be able to tap nowhere else okay so stay tuned Okay, let's cut things uh, this first wires to have a lot of movement and to see if this alarm system can be powered by a rechargeable lithium ion cell. All right, friends, we have stripped the wires, so we're gonna extend the black one because it's not gonna be able to reach our thing. We're not gonna solder at the moment because we are just testing it and maybe we're gonna need some adjustments. All right, so this is. This is done. We're gonna cut the excess wire and try and see if this one is gonna work. So is in off? Yeah, is in off position. All right, we have powered it with the with the thingy. The LED is working, and then let's try the switch. It's kind of loud. Damn it! Yeah, so it's working the switch as well. Let's put this one a PR motion sensor. Should trigger the thing might work but should have the, the cover fitting on all right so it's working let's try and see how much power is consuming when the alarm is on all right so when it's just powered on but nothing is drawing is drawing zero or 10 milliamps or so when the light is on is the same let's see when the, the sound all right when the sound is on is uh, drawing like 100 milliamps Okay, so power draw is 0 0.1 amps. And taking into mind that on this one is not gonna consume that much power when it's on standby, it's gonna last quite a while. And let's say if this one is uh, 1 amp, he can continuous uh, squeak the alarm for <laughs> who knows loads of 10 hours or so but it's gonna burn before the this battery is gonna drain but nonetheless a rechargeable thing is is need to be there you can power it just from this battery or you can make it as a backup power connected to the mains and when the power goes off it's gonna take the power from this battery as well okay okay now to measure the output power we're gonna just cut one of these wires but not all the way through because maybe we're gonna need it so we just cut the wire let's connect the battery one more time to see led is working and i think it's not doing nothing anymore because is uh, the the speaker is is out but we can measure it now to see the output but i'm guessing we're gonna need a diode to figure it out but let's test it anyway right, so if you're gonna try straight away to measure the output you can destroy your multimeter, as you can see, it's doing like crazy, you know, so we're gonna need a diode to figure out this thing. 
Hey girlfriends, like, like I told you, you know, before we're gonna make the measurements, the only thing we can tap in is to, in this uh, output wire, we have here a 12 volt LED strip, which we're gonna connect it to the alarm, personal alarm system, yeah, straight away. See? Come on. I'm not making the right connection here, damn it. Here you go. You see the LED is lighting straight away, the 12 volts one, so this is the only way we can tap in and we can uh, extend this signal wire to something else that can trigger our phone, our wireless switch or touch switch or indoor proper big alarm control like 500 decibels or the so. The final test, we're gonna connect right, the battery. As I told you, it's gonna make a small hum. Yeah. And then, as I told you, we did attach a um, diode to the multimeter, to the minus part. And a plus, we're gonna insert it just so, so I'm guessing this one goes here. Come on. Best. Yeah, so it's 17, as you can see, 17 volts. 17.4. Come on. 17.5.3 Yeah, so let's connect uh, this diode We have connected this LED strip as well in parallel with the diode So we're gonna attach it to the thing and see if uh, how much voltage drop there is This one goes here, this one goes there Yes, yeah, so what is lighting or what is doing? the other way damn it yeah friends so there you have it this is our only point in 17 volts or so i'm guessing if we're going to connect the load it's going to drop but nonetheless we can make a voltage um, drop as well so we can tap into the thing thanks all for watching in the meanwhile thumbs up subscribe and stay tuned we're going to make something interesting about this one very soon thanks all for watching till the next one stay safe yeah that's it portable personal alarm system yes